Verification tips. Remember, verification isn't scary. It's one way we can make sure you're getting the financial aid that's right for you. I'm doing the verification worksheet now. I don't want to mess this up. What should I know? Great question. Here's some tips on how to avoid errors or delays in verification. Complete the form yourself. The verification worksheet asks questions about the student's situation. That's you. If a parent or anyone else does the worksheet for you, they may answer the questions differently than you would. We suggest you fill out the worksheet first. You can send documents to us later. Your to-do list will guide you through which documents are needed. If you're pregnant or expecting a child, it will impact your aid. Include that child on the first page of the form if you will provide at least 50% of their financial support. The verification worksheet determines what information we need based on your answers to each question. Read over the question and your answers carefully before you submit. You may not be able to go back and make changes. Some students run into a speed bump with their parent's signature. When you list your parent on your worksheet, their name needs to match up with the signatures they provide. For example, if your mom goes by her middle name, Carol, and that's how you list her on the worksheet. If she signs the document using her first name, Sandy, it may look like a different person to us. Finally, make sure to check the to-do list in your student portal. We will use this to communicate or send requests about your financial aid. Don't stress over verification. Remember that we're here for you. Contact the financial aid office if you need help. You've got this.